So joining us now is VP Marketing of Sonic Bone, Uri Levin. Uri, thank you so much for being with us. You brought the machine with you. Uh, please tell us how this technology works and why it's so important. Okay, well, this is a very special uh, cutting-edge ultrasound technology uh, specifically designed to assess skeletal age and predict the final adult height of youth athletes. We perform three measurements on the athlete's left hand, on the wrist, on the proximal phalan of the third finger, and the metacarpal bones and the results are generated immediately. Okay. This technology originated from uh, the clinical field, working with a doctor and an endocrinologist, trying to have a al safer and cleaner alternative to the gold standard, which is X-ray based uh, method. So this is a cleaner and safer and more accurate solution. And then what that. do you measure exactly? Like, uh, because I, 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 t I asked you if I could do it, you said no, because I'm too old. So wh wh why, who do you test it on? Well, uh, our audience is uh, uh, adolescents from the age of uh, children and adolescents from the age of six till 19. During our maturation process, there are physical uh, process in the bones that in the specific sites that we are measuring, we are able to detect, analyze, and translate it to a skeletal age, uh, which has uh, many, many uh, applications uh, in different fields. So if, uh, like, let's say a boy is 12, but his skeletal age it can be 10, it can be 14? Exactly. That's a, that's a very common issue in sports academies. For example, at the age group of 14, you have a late bloomer that didn't start, didn't go through his growth spurt with a skeletal age of 12, and an early maturer already passed his growth spurt with a skeletal age of 17. Although these two are chronologically 14 years old, there's a huge, huge biological difference between them. And, and this is one of the biggest, uh, uh, the main attributes with the biggest impact on a young athlete's performance, as well as on his susceptibility to injuries, is his maturation status and timing. All right, so this you adapt the training to what's ever coming out of this device. Yes. Aha, uh -huh. okay, and um, when we talk about uh, the market, who, who, who's using it? Well, this technology is being uh, implemented in youth development programs around the world. We're working with uh, elite uh, sports clubs and football clubs like uh, Paris Saint-Germain, Barca, Dortmund, Offenheim, Leverkusen, uh, many baseball clubs like uh, New York Mets, San Francisco Giants, and many, many more. On a national level, we're working with national teams and federations like the English Football Association, Scottish Rugby, uh, US Soccer, Hungarian Handball and Football wow. Federation and many more, <laughs> as well with top sports universities around the world, providing, providing for the first time a technology based on ultrasound that can evaluate uh, the biological maturation process and opens up and link it to many fields that they are uh, studying and interested in. Wow, okay, so Hungarian Handball. It's very important these days. Um, so when we look to the future, um, what's the biggest challenge or the biggest result you're going to see out of out of your product? Uh, well, uh, happily, less and less, uh, because like, for example, 10 years ago, nobody really knew about and talked about growth and maturation and its impact. One of our biggest challenges was to raise the awareness of this and on its impact of every aspect of a young athlete's uh, development. And uh, personally, I can say we, we have a great uh, sense of uh, joy and proud pride to see young athletes that started using this technology in different clubs and today they are already matured and uh, succeeding and thriving in uh, major leagues all around the world and knowing we had a small contribution to their path as a professional athletes uh, and combining two passions of ours, technology and sports all together, bring us uh, a, a lot of uh, joy and uh, thank you.